हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लार्न ए वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ ऑटो कैट इट इज ए स्टेप बाई स्टेप लर्निंग इट इज माई फास्ट ऑटो कैट ट्यूटोरियल काइंडली सी ऑल ऑटो कैट वीडियोज फॉर योर कॉम्प्लीट नॉलेज first of all this is the autocad icon we double click on this icon from desktop wait sometimes this is the startup dialog box at startup dialog box there are four tabs this tab is called open a drawing this tab is called start from sketch this tab is called use a template this tab is called use a widget we click on this tab start from sketch two option imperial for feet and inches and metric for millimeter we select metric then okay first of all we discuss autocad first command line line means creates straight line segment click on line command here specify first point click on this skin next specify next point click on this next specify next point click specify next point click specify next point click then press enter again click on line specify first point click here specify next point click here specify next point click here specify next point click here right click then press enter left click there are three method to draw line command first we discussed cartesian coordinate system to draw a line we try to draw a rectangle of size 100 into 80 click on line command here specify first point click any point next specify next point sip at the rate of 100 comma 0 press enter we use relative cartesian coordinate system here this is the origin this is the origin specify next point sip at the rate of 0 comma 80 then press enter now this is the origin specify next point shift at the rate of minus 100 comma 0 
enter specify next point or close undo specify next point shift at the rate of x 0 comma minus 80 enter then press enter again click on line specify first point specify next point at the rate of 100 comma 0 enter if we forget to put at the rate of symbol all calculation are taken from this UCS at the rate of 0, 0,80 enter next at the rate of minus 100, 0 next we can use C we can use C and enter. Next we use another process to draw the rectangle that is polar coordinate system. Click on line command specify first point click any point specify next point shift at the rate of 100 angle angle means less than symbol shift less than 0 enter next specify next point at the rate of at the rate of 80 angle 90 enter specify next point at the rate of 100 less than now this is the origin angle here angle is 180 degree less than 180 enter specify next point now this is the origin at the rate of 80 angle 270 enter specify next point enter next process direct distance method next process direct distance method for direct distance method we use ortho mode click on ortho click on ortho ortho on again click on ortho ortho off another way we face f8 key functional key f8 key for off on now click on ortho mode click line command specify first point click any point now the line is fixed in horizontal and vertical by this process only mouse in right side and face 100 only measurement 100 enter next live mouse upside 80 enter then mouse left side 100 just 100 enter then mouse downside 
just paste 80 enter enter next command erase erase means remove object from a drawing line for any type of line ortho of for vertical line we use ortho mode paste next point specify next point specify next point specify next point specify next point enter click on erase select object object there are three method for object selection first we use single selection method select object click on this object click on this object click on this object and face enter again click on erase select object click on this object click on this object and enter this is the single selection method next we use window selection first draw the line this drawing this is a drawing this is a drawing click on erase command select object click on this side from right to left specify opposite corner click right side then enter undo again erase a click select object click on left side specify opposite corner right corner click on this side select all object and enter this is the window selection method there are two types of window selection if we if we if we click on erase specify first point click right side and specify opposite corner click left side this is forward selection in forward selection all object are selected all object are selected again undo it is select object click on right side this object this object this object this object this object are within window another two lines these two lines are only touch click left side opposite corner select all object here within window object and touch object are selected this is forward selection undo click on erase select object click left side specify opposite corner click left side specify opposite corner here two object are touch are uh, one two three four four object are within the window specify opposite corner click on right side here only within window object are selected this is the cost selection this cost selection means select from left to right or forward selection means 
right to left another method another method of it is there are many drawings in the on the skin many drawing if we erase all drawing click on erase select object just type a double l all and enter select all object on the skin next again enter erase all object next command we use osap command next command we use next command we use osap command osap means object sap osap means object sap sap line this is one line this is one line this is one line object sap osap commands are two types one single sap we draw a line from this end point to this midpoint and this midpoint to this end point or perpendicular click on line shift and right click a menu come click on end point then select this point click that point specify next point shift right click midpoint click on midpoint then click this line or this line click on this line again specify next point shift right click perpendicular next perpendicular to this point perpendicular or or we can use midpoint or end point and enter this is single selection this method is called single selection now we discuss running set running set if we do many lines that is we do a line draw a line from this point this end point to this midpoint this end point this midpoint it is very difficult to shift and right click for use single snap this time we right click on object snap command right click on object snap then click on settings there are so many points end point mid point center point node point we only select which are most essential most necessary for this drawing here end point are and mid point are essential 
others point are not selected others point are not selected then ok click on line command specify first point click on this then specify next point click midpoint then specify next point click end point specify next point this point specify next point this midpoint only select end point and midpoint specify next point specify next point enter it is all those line now we discuss circle command there are so many process to draw circle if center and radius are given if center and diameter are given two point is given if three point are given if ten ten radius are given if ten 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 are given first we use center radius center radius draw this line using ortho mode draw this line using ortho mode here color can be changed by this way ortho of ortho of ortho of ortho of click on circle specify center point for circle or within third bracket 3p 2p ttr all of option there are many option specify center point click on the end point specify diameter of the circle or specify radius of the circle specify radius of the circle 40 enter again click circle specify center point for circle click on intersection point specify radius of the circle or diameter specify radius of the circle 50 enter this is center radius process next process is center diameter click on circle specify center point for circle click on this point next specify radius of the circle or diameter this is option then press d enter specify diameter of the circle specify diameter of the circle 100 enter again click on circle specify center point for circle click specify diameter radius of the circle or diameter face d enter specify diameter of circle 70 enter this is the process center diameter next two point circle two point circle ortho on this is a line this is the end point two end points 
ortho of click to incline line right click repeat click this point and this point right click enter click on circle two point circle click on circle specify center point for circle or option 3p 2p ttr for 2p 2p type 2p and enter specify first end point of circle click this point specify second end point of the circle click this end point again click circle specify center point for circle or 3p 2p ttr 2p enter specify first point specify second point then we use three point circle we draw a triangle ortho of click click enter click on circle specify center point for circle or 3p 2p ttr for 3p we type 3p enter specify first point on circle click this point specify second point on circle click this end point specify third point on circle click this end point again click on circle specify center point per circle or 3p 2p ttr type 3p enter specify first point on circle here we choice for OSAP command settings select select tangent ok specify first point on circle click here tangent are not selected the end point are this end point and intersection point are more active so we we deselect this point two points deselect this two point end point and intersection point only tangent are selected okay specify first point click on this specify second point click on this line specify third point click on this this is the three point circle it is this next next comma next option ttr next option ttr tangent tangent radius next option ttr tangent tangent radius we draw three circles tangent tangent radius for cancel a command based on escape yellow color click on circle specify center point for circle 3p 2p ttr for ttr tangent tangent radius click on t enter specify point on object for first tangent click on this line any point of this line specify second point click on this line any point on this line 
specify radius of the circle we press radius 10 or 50 or 100 any dimension face first face 10 enter this is tangent tangent radius again face on circle specify center point for circle or 3p 2p ttr face t for ttr click any point on this line click any point on this line specify radius of the circle 50 enter ok next next option 10 10 10 next option 10 10 10 this is available on menu drop down menu circle 10 10 10 there are three circles three circles for any circle click on the center point and any radius draw circle 10 10 10 specify any point specify second point any point specify third point any point again draw circle 10 10 10 any point specify second point on circle any point specify third any point ok erase all of this next offset command next offset command offset command means creates concentric circles parallel lines and parallel curves this is a straight line this is a circle this is a curve arc for offset command there are two options mainly two options click on offset specify offset distance or specify through erase layer specify offset distance type 30 enter select object to offset click on object and specify point on side to offset up or bottom any side for upside click any point again select object to offset select object to offset specify point on side to offset outside or inside any point again select object to offset specify on side to offset click outside ok this is for all dimension are same for different dimension for different dimension we click on offset specify offset distance 20 enter select object specify point on side to offset click upper side press enter we are now out of this command again click on offset specify offset distance 30 Dif different different offset select 
object to offset select specify side to offset click outside then face enter again face offset specify offset distance offset distance 40 enter select object to offset specify point on side to offset outside or inner side ok this is the offset command for distance method another method two two this is method or or option another option two click on offset specify offset distance offset distance or specify offset distance or within third bracket two erase layer for two type T and enter select object to offset select specify two point to this point we active the OSAP command specify two point specify two point select end point or intersection point specify two point specify two point click active OSAP on specify two point this select object to offset specify two point this ok another option multiple multiple option a line click offset specify offset distance or two erase layer specify offset distance 10 enter select object to offset select specify point on side to offset or exit multiple undo m type m for multiple enter specify point on side to offset left side or right side click just click specify point on side to offset 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 ok next command team team object to meet the edge of other object A line this is a horizontal line we team this portion first we use single selection method click on team select object select object means select cutting edge for team this portion cutting edge is this again select object there are no, no cutting edge this case we face enter click this portion again we try to team this portion there are two cutting edge one and two team select object select this portion select this object again select object face enter select object to team click another process window selection 
another process window selection for this click on team select object we see the window selection specify other corner select select object enter select object to team click this 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 select object to team this is window selection another method fence option another method fence option another method fence option another method fence option click on team select object select object mean, means select cutting edge again select object paste enter next select object to team option fence for fence option type f enter specify first fence point specify next fence point next enter ok undo next option causing next option causing click on team select object cutting edge enter type c for causing specify first corner specify next corner ok So that was all for today. If you want to know more about these topics or any doubt, you can contact me on my mobile number and if you like my videos, do not forget to subscribe and share my videos. Okay, thanks.